guys, this is Six Color Rainbow. I know it has been a while and I do apologize, but I am going into my senior year of high school. Things are getting real. Uh, before I wasn't able to do many videos, but now that it is summer, this is probably going to be one of the only times, one of the only chances that I can do this. Now unfortunately I cannot watch the entirety of season 5, so just for you guys, I decided to take some time out of my schedule to watch the 100th episode. I know you guys have been waiting patiently. I hope. I really, I really do hope. <laughs> uh, um, so, yeah. After such a long wait, I hope I, uh, I hope I can live up to expectations. Now, I heard that there was a lot of fan stuff in this video since it is the 100th. I have no idea what's going to be in store for me. There could be some season 5 stuff in there that I don't get, because I haven't really been following the show lately because of school stuff. So, um, well, I don't, this is the first time I'm recording on a X split for the very first time, and probably the last time, so I have no idea if this is even going to work. Um, the little... I really hope this isn't going to remain to be the aspect ratio, because something I don't like about movies is that they have too many black lines. And well, letterbox mode seems to be popular, and I'm okay with that. I don't like the whole side letterbox stuff. I've never understood it. So, with that said, episode 100. Like I said, I've never done this before. I hope that this works. Slice of Life seems to be... Cranky Doodle and M Matilda, M M M M M M Mrs. M. So, all right, let's begin. Episode 100 of MLP. Come a long way. That is right in my face. never understand the ponies in this town. Everywhere I went, they were all gussied up and looking at me funny. Kept asking if Still I was nervous. Did they forget the wedding is tomorrow? No, maybe they're just as excited for us to be married as I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, they're going to Good feel awfully silly when they realize they've got the wrong date. The invitations are wrong! This says the wedding is today! But I got such oh, a good no. deal on them. Every pony in town got these! The princesses have even RSVP'd! I told you we should have eloped! Oh dear! To say to the this. caterer! The flowers! The musicians! We've got to move it all to today! What? What? Where's my wedding planner? Today? But that's... Today. You told me you could do it for half what the others charge, and then you sent invitations to every pony in town with the wrong date. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. All my very best friends. These are gonna be ending your that. I don't think my heart can take it. <laughs> I really messed up on those invitations. I feel just awful, Doc. <laughs> Perhaps that explains why I never got mine. Stop talking. I told Cranky I could get them printed for cheap, but that meant hiring some pony with no experience using a printing press. Oh, ha, you suck. Oh, I wish there was a way I could go back in time and fix all this. No. Going back in time is old thinking, my friend. <laughs> I was working off a cutting edge theory of making time come forward to you. Oh my God. <laughs> what a 
my life's work. Decades, centuries really, of research and experimentation and I really have it cracked. Turns out there's a magic spell for it. Ooh. I have no words. I have no words. There are so many things that magic can't explain where science and mathematics are the real British. magic. She oh. called him Doc. You're pretty. Ah, yes, my flameless fireworks. I never could quite figure out how to get them to ignite. How did you learn to make all this stuff anyway? I've been studying science my whole I'm a professional. life. Ever since a particularly traumatic experience as a phone, I've been looking for ways to make sense of the world around me. Science provides explanations of things we never thought possible. Now, uh, why did we come here again? Yeah. Oh, because I accidentally sent out invitations for Cranky and Matilda's wedding with today's date instead of tomorrow's. Derby, that is Great wickery stallions! I completely I, forgot! I, 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 totally I still need to get, to get my suit me. tailored! Hey. No, you need to... You're, you're a time machine. Rarity? You... Rarity! Oh, he's so oh. British. <laughs> All of this You've got to stuff. help me! I lost track of time, unbelievably, and forgot that the wedding is this afternoon! <laughs> Have you seen Rarity? She's got to alter the sleeves of my suit, and she's got to do it now! Oh, <laughs> thank goodness! Lead on, my friend! No voice. There's no way they hired Noack. I'm gonna say it right now. If they got Noack... Oh, he's underlining! Is this all yeah. just if you brought me here, Rarity would never set hoofing. The green withering stallions, they've got style. Gentle coats, oh, I'm facing certain calamity, oh, and I couldn't help really noticing your remarkable me. fashion sense. It's been under five the minutes. Name of your incredible tailor. I'm having oh, like yeah, 70. man, his name is me. Me. <laughs> what an unfortunate name. No, man, like, I manufacture all my own garments. We all do, man. Yeah, then like you've got to help me. Brilliant. I need this suit tailored. It's an emergency. <laughs> Sorry, man. We're just about to start the finals. Yeah, man. What's this word you keep using, man? I don't know, man, but guess what? A fourth didn't show, so if you roll with us, we'll alter your suit for you. That's... Man. You're talking about the two. I'm sorry, gentle coats, but I will not bowl. The splits, the spares, there are simply too many variables. Variables? What are Way you talking about, man? Ball. Just throw the ball straight. Hold on. Straight? Straight. That is strategy. Of course. Very well. It all makes I'll sense. Try your straight technique. It just might be crazy <laughs> enough to work. <laughs> Straight technique. It's funny because he's British. Do we know no, that's not the about? joke. It's funny because he's look like that. No, I'd no. say it's either a friendship problem is or a TV? monster attack. Did I just a miss monster him? attack? <gasps> Blast! I'm performing at the ceremony this afternoon, and I still haven't people. sorted it's... out what to play. She's British oh, too. To practice with a just monster like in the phantom. Phantom. Maybe it's just a friendship problem, and it'll all be cleared up in a half an hour or so. Uh, Maybe. I hope so. What are you doing there? Where's Pinkie Pie? Octavia, Buy me my wedding! What are you doing there? You're in it. A field trip. A bumble bear? Is that what that is? I'm just gonna guess and say it's a bumble bear. And they're gonna be like, oh no, a bumble bear. Or maybe it's a... Uh... Oh no! On my wedding day? Some pony's gotta help me! Call it a bumble bear. I mean, you have to call the bumble bear, otherwise this episode is forfeit. You! Me? Sparkler? I need to move an entire wedding from tomorrow to today. But no ponies asked me to organize anything since Twilight came to town. Sparkler! So you'll do it? I used to be the best organizer in all of Ponyville. Don't say You bet I'll. Okay. Oh, you're gonna be like, then I suck an arrow in the deep. Shit. Come on, I we mean... better get to the salon before that monster flattens it. What is it, a bumble bear? Is that what it's called? Is it called a bumble bear? What am I gonna do? Derby, no, every time you talk. 
I feel so bad about the invitations. Is there uh, anything I can do? Flowers! Flowers? Oh. You want Matilda's arrangements today? Oh, no. This is awful! The no horror! The no horror! So, there's no way you can do it? We don't even have Matilda's flowers in yet, much less arranged. That's why I'm off the drink. This is a disaster. A complete overreaction. Okay. Thanks anyway. Oh, oh look, girls! It's a, a broken stem on one of the zinnias! What? <gasps> oh, no! Yeah. no Stop saying that. You're overdoing it. Just I have to admit, when Matilda said we needed this place ready by today, I was a little nervous. What? With you by my side, I knew we'd get it done in time. There is nothing like a best friend, is there? Anything's possible best when you friend. know some pony as well as we know each other. What was that? There's some monster attacking Ponyville or something. What is it this time? So Creature that... from the Everfree Forest? Uh, I think it's some sort of bugbear. Bumblebear. <laughs> Did you say bugbear? No, it's a bumblebear. It found me! What are you talking about, Bonbon? Bon? Bumblebear. My name isn't Bonbon. Bon. It's Special Agent Sweetie Drops. I work for a super secret anti monster agency in Canterlot. Or at least I did until the bugbear went missing from Tartarus a few years back. What Boy. are you talking about? When Where it escaped, we had to shutter the whole agency. Every last shred of evidence of the organization's existence was destroyed. Celestia demanded complete deniability. Also, Lyra's talking. That's cool. What? It was me who captured the bugbear. I had to go deep cover here in Ponyville and assume the name Bonbon. I never thought it'd be able to track me, but now it has. Are you saying our whole friendship was based on a lie? <gasps> I'm sorry, Lyra. I couldn't tell you for your own protection. But 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 the lunches, the the long talks, the benches we've sat on. None of that was real? <laughs> it's funny because it she said You're my very best friend. Friend. This totally isn't a James I've Bond. I've find a crowd to blend into before I put reference. you in danger. I'll see you at the wedding. Fine, but we're going to talk about this later. I need my ring today, no matter the cost. What is as it long as it doesn't cost any extra. Seven ten split, man. Ooh, harshest of the harsh. But if you pick this up, we win the whole shebang. Now's a good time to do your math. Doc! I finally figured out how I can help. Your flameless fireworks look just like oh, flowers. No. I'll use them for no. the wedding. No. Great wickering stallions. Wait! But the boy, the boy. Okay. <sighs> Wait! Fucked the famous fireworks are extremely volatile. Without knowing what the trigger is, they could go off at any moment. My word, is that a bugbear? Bumblebear! It's a bumblebear. What is that thing even? There are so many things I'm forgetting. I it's hope Granky random. remembers to tell the musicians. Oh, oh, the I'll musicians. never get my mane done in time. Octavia, final you try. must relax, my dear. We can handle anything. We once did a pony's hair during the ceremony. Oh, it's true. It's true. They really are the best. Matilda, I've just got to say, I already feel like we're family. You do? Of course! I'm Stephen Magnet, Cranky's best beast! You're Stephen Magnet? Well, what'd you expect, Bugbear? I've known Cranky forever! Surely he must have told you about the time he saved me from Flash Freeze Lake? You're Stephen Magnet. Oh, I know, I know! Typical Cranky to leave out minor details, like the fact that I'm, you know, a sea monster, right? <laughs> Four years. I just love that old burrow. No one's ever really Steve. referred to as Stephen. I guess I assumed you were a pony. And I had no idea you had such adventures. That was a translation error, first of all. Oh, honey, you don't know the half of it. But let me tell you something. In all that we've been through together, the only thing he ever cared about... I'm so sorry for not talking about, you. like, talking much... Really? This, I'm just well, awestruck by a lot of this. Monsieur. Along with just talk. Or was that Lotus? I don't know, but she talked. Oh, she was, they're known I for being silent. Through. They don't oh, even the need to I talk. Put him they through. talked. The they don't give a shit. They talked. I'm sorry. 
The wedding isn't the important thing. The marriage is. Oh, my goodness gracious. If you believe that, I have got a bridge to sell you. All these ponies traveling to Ponyville, putting on uncomfortable clothes, sitting through a long ceremony. You think any of them care about the marriage? Oh. <laughs> me. The wedding Ooh. is everything. Steve and Magnet, that was a face you've never made before. Please keep it that way. They even live together. Oh no. Oh no, she's gonna talk. She's gonna... Uh, All these wedding songs are so standard. I want Matilda and Cranky's wedding to be special. Please don't be for Okay, so she's a silent character. Interesting. Where is she? no actual beat yet. Thanks, but I'm not sure that's appropriate for a wedding, is it? Well, the after party. You gotta do Spring by Vivaldi! Saturn by Gustav Holst! That works. That's more like it! Dubstep diet, that's that's brilliant. Uh-oh. What? 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 What did I see that clip right? Did I see that frame? What is life? Is it nothing more than the endless search for a cutie mark? And what is a cutie mark but a constant reminder that we're all only one bugbear attack away from oblivion? And what of the poor gator, flank forever blank, destined to an existential <laughs> swim life. down the river of life to an unknowable destiny? <laughs> This episode, <laughs> the plot. Where is Something it? Something like that might work. That was pretty awesome. What do you mean lie. you left it on the counter? I thought you were bringing it. Oh, dare they? Oh, well, this is just wonderful. I handled the gift for Cadence and Shining Armor. You were supposed to do this one, remember? Yeah, his well, cranky dueling Ma this Matilda. Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. He always cries at weddings. Usually, it's not until the wedding starts. Maybe he just doesn't want to be there. Fireworks because these look are even better than flowers. Characters. I'm sorry. Attention, Stop everybody. it! Our friends have done it. They've defeated the bugbear. Bumblebear! Shut hey. up. Hey, she's Hello. sitting. She's actually like 
So, uh, you didn't happen to mention our earlier conversation about my secret identity to any pony, did you? I'm sitting no, too. I can make I did not. Look really cool. And you're not the only one with a secret, you know. You know those expensive imported oats you were saving for a special occasion? I cooked them up and ate them. All of them. Oh. Burn. It's kidding. sort of thrilling to reveal your deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> That's what best friends are for. Can I also be teaching you how to sit properly? Because Lyra is literally Next the only person you can who can do it. Just bring your own gift, and I'll bring mine. Fine. Next time is in the next time. Are. They get divorced. My suit has vanished, and this was the only thing left in my closet. <laughs> what? How do I look? Stop it! Million bits. Oh, the shipping, Wait, and then the standards. Doctor Who, the and then it's Please literally Doctor Who. Allons-y! Ah! <laughs> I can't believe I lost my hair. I look ridiculous. The love of my life deserves better than Shut this. Shut the fuck up. He just said how long I'm crazy, seeing. my dear. It's Stephen Magnet's mustache to the rescue. Yeah. Oh, he still has that scale. Is it the same scale? <laughs> I'm sorry, but oh, he said I'm on buddy. I'm done. No I'm finished. Now you get I, in this there is perfect. And marry that donkey. Nothing. You don't have to do anything more. Well, you're done. Is every pony here? You've done your job. Oh, set Mayor. Dearly beloved, Derby. we are gathered here today to join uh, these two uh, in the ceremony. As I look around this room, I can only say imagine oh, how uncomfortable right, Cranky must be. <laughs> but I also see so many ponies from all trots of life. I'm sorry. Brought together it's a wedding. by love. Cranky searched all across this great land of ours to find Matilda. And no matter what obstacles kept them apart, love would finally bring them together. <laughs> Just as it has brought all of us mm. together now. It's remarkable to me how a story like Cranky's search for Matilda could fill this room with such a unique collection of yeah. ponies. I can't fall It asleep. makes you realize that but every pony she... is the oh. star of their Lyra own story. Right. Oh. And it's not just the main characters Scora. in our stories that make life so yeah. rich. It's every pony. Mm. Those who play big parts and those who play small. Get out of here. If it weren't for every pony in Get this room, out. and many more who couldn't be here Stop today, Stop the way. Cranky and Matilda's lives wouldn't be as full and vibrant There's as a they bunch. are. <laughs> and so, in Did front of all these the right ones, just creep? Squeak? Cranky, Squeak? do you take this donkey to be your lawfully wedded Both wife? Biceps. You bet I do. He's a squeaky toy. And do you, Matilda, Where's this take this donkey to be mm. your lawfully wedded the husband? Queen. There's many, I do. many things then they're missing I'm out on. I'm proud to say, I now pronounce you Jack and Jenny. Oh, hey, Jack. Hey, Jenny. How you doing? I didn't. I thought this was a marriage, not a legal name-changing ceremony. Why uh, oh. us? But they're volatile, so that means it could burn the whole town down. The whole. Of course, they need love to ignite. How could I have missed it? He's very mad scientist in this. Is he gonna regenerate? Because if he regenerates, that would be really sweet. You know something, girls? We are so lucky to live in this town. Except you live in Canterlot. I love Not you anymore. all. Never mind. Ow! That's where the Bumble Bear bit me. Sorry. Bumble Bear! Get it right. Sort of strawberry shirt cakes. So, uh. 
think I need to start finding more time to watch this show again. Um, let me look something up real quick. Just real quick. This won't take about a second. Um, I just want to see something. And he searched. We Sorry. Oh, it was just Peter New. Arr. And they didn't directly call him Dr. Hooves either. <laughs> He's credited as the Lebowski pony. That's funny. Lebowski as in... Wow. I'm surprised they brought those guys back. They were only in the show for like a split second. They were just a reference at one point. Oh, they called her Muffins instead. You know, I don't think I ever directly heard her referred to as Derpy in this episode. But they're calling her Muffins. Now, that's interesting. That is very... I didn't pay attention to her cutie mark either. Did they change it at all? I want to check just to be sure. Going back in time is old thinking, my friend. Nope, they're still the bubbles. Wow. I have to say, um... A lot of things happened in that episode that I did not expect, as I said that I would. <sighs> but I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. I truly am. That was a remarkable episode. I never would have expected that of a professional cartoon television production studio. From Canada. Imported to America. That was fucking brilliant. That was a stroke of genius. I honestly, I gave up on ponies for a bit. I'm going to admit it. I stopped watching the show. I was moving on. Might have to start watching it again. So this video, is this Let's Watch that I'm making right now, will it be the last? Nah. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in for the 100th episode of My Little Pony. Thank you for laughing along with me, smiling, crying. I didn't cry, but if you did, that's fine. Just, wow. That hit me. It really did. If I wasn't such a man, I probably would be crying. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Remember to subscribe, leave a comment below. Oh, man, do I really want to end this episode in such a teary-eyed note? No, I don't. Well, yeah, I kind of do. I have to. Alright, good night.